every time we people ask us how long have we been married, and we say 60 years, they look at we like we're nuts. We were married in June of 1962. We dated one year, and we were engaged for nine months. Correct. Give me a kiss. Connie Pappas Cotras. And my name is Charles Cotras. We were born and raised in Memphis, Tennessee. My wife and I have known each other from, from the time we were children. We yep. were raised together. Went to church together, sang in the choir together. We lived down the street from each other. Five blocks from each other. The, the only separation that I had with her was when we went to college. I was 17 years old. My wife was 14 years old. <laughs> but uh, when I came back from college, she was a beautiful woman. And Thank you. It was a Christmas holidays, and I and I was I called Connie from from home. She missed choir practice. So he called me that night, and the funniest thing, I was sitting on the bed talking to my daddy because I never thought I'd marry or find a wonderful Greek guy. I said, Dad, what would you do if I married someone that wasn't Greek? I'm telling you, the phone rang, and I answered it. And he said, <laughs> and I said, I missed you at church. What I would like to see is if you would like to go out Friday night. So I went and told my dad, and he said, now that's a nice a boy. <laughs> and Mama was so happy. She prayed him into my life. We were going to the Christmas parade in downtown <laughs> Memphis. Had a great time. And after that, I, I never had another day with another woman. Me either. So. I didn't. Not after you and I had our first date. Right. That's not when he gave me the ring. He gave me the ring with Riverside Park. Right. And that's when you invited, asked me to marry you. And we went back to our house with Mama and everyone. They loved him. A nice Greek boy. That's what he was. <laughs> A wonderful Greek boy. But let me tell you about this wonderful man. My poor parents didn't have a lot of money. I had a job and his, he wasn't making any money. He would let me give half of my paycheck to mom and dad to help them. To send, the, to send back to Greece. To her sisters, that's what she did. I think it's very important for people to understand, we've been married for 60 years and we're, we're truly blessed. But that's not easy. You have to work at it. You have to believe in God and you have to recognize that you don't always have to say yes to everything. But at least you need to respect your wife and she needs to respect and understand you. To me, the key to, to a successful marriage is love mm -hmm. and respect. And never go to bed without saying, I love you. Every night we go to bed, we tell each other, I love you. It's so important. We had three beautiful children, 11 grandchildren, and almost seven great-grandchildren. i tell you something that I think is important is, is your children and how, how they're raised. We've always believed you need to discipline your children, but never let your children go to bed unhappy. Because how your children turn out is important to how your marriage will end up being. Right. Mama would tell me, Oli ini tihiro. She would tell me that, and I'd say, oh, there's no way I'm going to ever meet a Greek boy. Best thing that ever happened to me, him. Wonderful man. Blessed with him, the best husband, best papu, best big papu, best provider. And we have three great kids, wonderful children. It's difficult not to have a, oh, mis get mad a misunderstanding. Yeah, you get mad. But you can't, get, you can't let it get out of control. That's why we said you have to go to bed that night and say, I'm, the woman has to say it the most, I'm sorry for us. You cannot. You have to. You cannot let a small problem become a major problem. And if you don't address it, it will get out of control. Yeah. There's give and take. You cannot 
expect to have everything your way all the time. You also need to give in to her. We still hold hands in the movie. And we still hold hands walking down the street. Well, now it's more for holding hands with support, too. Right. <laughs> Let me tell you, when this guy re retired, the minute he retired, we traveled all over Europe, the world. We've gone on. And we took our family with us. We, we went to Greece. We took 22 people to Greece. We decided we don't want to die and let our children give all of our money away. So we gave all of our money away. We had so much fun. At St. Jude's Children's Hospital in Memphis, there's a Connie's Corner. The th third floor is, I wanted for both of us, he said, nope, we've given to the seminary, we've given to the church. We had more fun saying. Give it to the college where I went to school. So we did it. We thought we want to have fun giving it away. And that was a thrill. It was. <laughs>